Hey guys, Gaming Off The Grid here. We are back at Franklin Barbershop for another episode of Deep Cuts, but we have a very special guest with us today, Jen Geigley. Why are you here? Because I'm a knitter and I play games. All right, Hogan, you had a really good idea for this epic episode. What are we gonna be playing today? Kirby's Epic Yarn. What are we drinking? Today we're drinking Peace Tree's Orange Goza. It's an orange Goza. You know the drill. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and ring that bell icon so you never miss an upload. And sit back, relax, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's get a little crazy with Kirby's Epic Yarn. So here we go, Kirby's Epic Yarn. Jen, we are so happy for you to join us today. You are like, you just know a lot about knitting and stuff. And it's really cool, you've like written books. Like this is real, real shit going on right here. So you're gonna work on something while we play Kirby's Epic Yarn, right? It's gonna be a big surprise. All right, we're very excited. You guys are gonna start it off. So we uh, played through the intro piece, so we're at Fountain Gardens here. Um, don't not, to, not to be confused with Marvin Gardens. No, Marvin not, Gardens. absolutely not. <laughs> So we have regular Kirby, obviously he's the pink guy. Um, the other guy has a really dumb name. Yeah, so like Prince, Prince uh, Charles? Fluffy. Fluffy. Fluff and stuff? Fluff and stuff. HR Fluff and stuff or something? Um, so I think we need to give him a new name. Yeah. Um, and his new name shall be what? I don't know. Um, Marvin? I kind of want to know what the first thing comes to Hogan's mind is, because that's usually his best one. I don't know, I'm kind of distracted, like how you can see see Kirby like behind the tree. <laughs> yeah, that's what's distracting you <laughs> out of all his that. Yeah, that's what has it's your like interest. When you get, like, it's when you get like a dog like or a cat under a blanket, you know, like, yeah. that effect. Yeah, it yeah, is. Like, yeah, it's see? The fabric <laughs> yeah. Man, the, the small details in this game. Yeah. yeah. I got... Uh, we might be able to spend the whole episode just with Hogan. See, now we can put the sofa in our apartment. Yeah. Hey. It's a cute. You guys moved in together it's before not, we started yeah, shooting this. It's not really my style of furniture. Yeah, but it's cute. It's, it's cute. cute. And it will always smell like a fresh bouquet. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Did you die, Hogan? Or did you just... No. It, it, helps, it helps, like, get you back to die in this game? I, I don't know. I don't think so. Is it possible for yarn to die? Uh, yeah, if you throw it in the washing machine, I have an afghan. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, I'm sure there's something that's Yeah, I have an afghan from my, my grandma that I really loved and I needed to wash it. And uh, it didn't ever come out the way that it, it ever was before. You know, it just was a little weird. It was, uh... That's tragic. Yeah, it was almost like... Oh. Like, you just couldn't see the definition and the textures. It was kind of, like, very matted. Yeah, it's called felting. Yeah. And that's when fibers all get mushed together. And if it was hot, if there's any dryer or any hot water, it's going to just merge. Yeah. So and is it ruined? And I ran it on the full forever. dryer cycle. Oh, so <laughs> that was bad. Did it could shrink? Did yeah, it shrink? Yeah, yeah. It was a disaster. Um, so what? Did you so should you, in that situation, you should what? Wash it in cold water wash. and then air dry it? You can wash it in the sink. Or just never get it dirty. Or just be careful with it. Yeah. yeah. Be more careful with it. Yeah, be more careful with yeah. your things. Yeah, that's a problem. Yeah. Yeah. Wait. All the hours. Yeah, I know, it was, it was tragic. Here's here's another thing that's tragic. I don't even know what it, what's an app. I don't even know what that is. Besides the country. It's kind of like a Davenport. But that a a no, a Davenport. A Davenport? I just had to say it. The Davenport's a couch. <laughs> but the wording, yeah. Yeah, but who... Is like a Who still thing. uses the word yeah. Davenport? Besides people that live in the city. I, I uh, My grandmother said Davenport all the time. Yeah, so my grandparents, and it made me very happy. And it did, it took me a long time to like know how funny that was. You want to put two uh, two other words together? My grandma used to say things like, "It's on it's on the Davenport in the solarium." Whoa! What, what is the a solarium? Afghan is, the Afghan is on the Davenport in the solarium. What's is that, a like a day room? Uh, yeah, oh. solarium's like a day room. Yeah. Okay. So that's where you'd sit and read. Yeah. Or, I know, was just wow. using the context clues there. You like that? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh -oh. We're a tank. That's amazing. Oh, Who is yeah. what? Okay, so I tilt. Okay, and I go what? I think, I think you're the punch. I think yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. so I, I move. <laughs> That's awesome. Oh my gosh. Oh yeah. You guys are, have to work together here. <laughs> so I have to I have to basically aim. You guys are losing all of Oh, your... I can shoot rockets. Oh, okay. So you can it, yeah, and then I can aim the arm. Oh my gosh. <laughs> 
This is ridiculous. <laughs> Who's shooting the rocket? Me. <laughs> You're yeah. I'm in your machine. Yeah, okay. I'm the boxer. You just have an infinite stash of rockets in your pocket? Yeah, you your rockets rocket. in your pocket. Yarn rockets. That needs to be a band name. Yarn rockets. Yarn rockets. <laughs> yarn rockets. <laughs> yeah. That's perfect. All right, that one was free, folks. Yep. If you want to start a band, the Yarn Rockets. We give away, we give away <laughs> so many good ideas. <laughs> so when did you uh, publish your first book on knitting? Um, it was 2015, and I've done one or two books a year since then. Wow. Is it I, hard to make a book? Yeah, well, I have a graphic design background, and so I do all the layout and everything myself. And then I use local photographers and local models. We shoot everything here in Des Moines. Put it together on my computer at home and then wow. hit print. And I yeah, I mean this is like very, uh, very high quality stuff. I was just the, just the texture, the, yeah. the pictures involved. I'm a paper nerd, so I pick yeah. like the good paper and I Absolutely. really like um, good photography and I kind of make it appeal to the younger knitters, yeah. a younger audience that's kind of the new wave of knitting. So that's awesome. And so uh, I noticed you followed us on social media. It yeah. looks like you have a, a like a really good following. So what have you? Obviously, to get a net cast like that, you've had to have done other things um, as far as, you know, I don't know, where have you traveled and spread the love of yarn around the world? <laughs> yeah, um, I do travel to a lot of knitting conventions and stuff. I just went to New York City and did a big wow. one there in Times Square. Um, I do a lot of workshops. I teach. And then um, I, te I teach locally, too. I teach kids. I teach at all the high schools. And I teach adult community ed. So I really love to spread that knowledge with other people. That's so. awesome. It's very, very neat. So, uh, what would you feel like if we made, uh, like, thrust a controller into your hand and I could do it. Um, <laughs> you and I play a level? Sure. Right All right, let's do it. Okay. Oh boy. Whoa! Oh, somebody died. Die. Oh, you can. Die. Wow. But they bring you back up with the little halo. Guy. I wonder if we have infinite lives. Oh shit! Oh, that was save sacrifice. Yeah, she sacrificed, sacrificed herself to keep sacrificial Sorry. yarn. Nice! Oh, is that for our, that's for our apartment? That's an umbrella yeah. stand. It's an umbrella stand. All the, yeah. It said you, you can put all your lost umbrellas in there. But that doesn't make any sense. Yeah. Because all, <laughs> all the lost ones go there. Yeah, well how do you, if they're lost, how do you put them in the stand? <laughs> I don't. I think we gotta go into the water. Yeah. If you, if you, you can turn into a brick and sink. Oh, I can't. I do think that. It's very, it's very beautiful. Yeah, it is. And, I'm, and maybe as a girl, it does appeal to, you know, Kids, but maybe girls too. Yeah, you know, like, and knitters. I think about and knitters, of course. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Y UFOs? I think so. Huh. We gotta get out of here. Okay. Oh, oh, oh. And there's gonna be some. Uh... Ooh. Look at the little beams. Yeah. Oh yeah. Can you guys shoot stuff? Uh, we can do the beams, which. Oh yeah, suck it up. It's like a vacuum. Okay, that's yeah. okay. Vacuum or is it? I'm working on it. Is it the reverse? It is a. Obviously, you guys don't know anything about beans. Uh, I don't. <laughs> yeah, tell me more. <laughs> Wait, Please me. inform How me. Are you, have you been abducted before? Uh, well. <laughs> oh, well. <laughs> this is like the fourth or fifth time they've said the word pickle. Pickle straits. Huh. Is that a Dire, dire Straits cover straits. band? It's a, yeah. <laughs> it's a Dire <laughs> Straits <laughs> The Pickle Straits. Yes. What's, um, what's that song? What's that band? That had the song that was "I'm blue, I'm a deep, I would die." Oh gosh! Um, I always thought it was "I'm blue, if I were green, I would die." I think it is. I'm it's not green, I would die. It's not. No, they it's actually not. say "I'm a deep, I'm a Yeah, that's actually the lyrics. Yeah, it yeah. is. Um, See, I thought it was. They were making a joke. I'm like, no. Who the heck is that? I, I'm drawing a Eiffel line. Tower. It's, no, um, is it, it's not Eiffel. Is it it's Eiffel something. No, I'm pretty sure it's Eiffel something. Like Eiffel 65 or something. No. I'm not kidding. I'm like, I think you're really, really I'm, I'm being really confident. I think you're uh, doing a little thing that I like to call freestyling right now. No, you're <laughs> <laughs> if you got, if you look it up right now, I have a guy. <laughs> so the name of the song is Blue Daba D. Yeah, Daba D. Daba and guy. it's dude, I hate you, Robert. What's the name of the band? Eiffel sixty five. I told you. How did I know that? I literally. How did I know that? I have no idea. Because I'm a Because you got lucky. How is that a lucky? There's no way you would guess that. I think you got lucky. <laughs> no. It's because I used to have that song on my iPod. That's why. Oh, no, yes. Now we're really finding out. Robert likes it, actually. <laughs> how, do you, how do you not like that song? You gotta get on their heads and then jump. So you can't kill them. Oh, okay. I got it. You're, you're getting too kill, kill crazy. 
Yeah, Kirby is a murderer. This is not tool. the last lumber party. Okay, yeah, I'm like, gonna, okay, I'm gonna jump and you're gonna grab me. Oh, There's in the spectrum of serial killers, it's like Jeffrey Dahmer, <laughs> Kirby. You know, he's right up there. <laughs> Kirby, Ted, Ted Bundy, or whatever. His <laughs> Al name Bundy, is. Al Bundy. That's okay. Do you guys like Married with Children? Yes. Yeah, I've got like yeah. every no. I'm not. Season. I'm not married. <laughs> no, the show. I picked up the entire series for ten dollars at Menards. No, Menards. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that like you feel good that you got? Dude, that was, that was my chance. Like, Al Bundy would love Menards. No joke, I think my grandparents buy their cereal at Menards. Because <laughs> it's cheaper. <laughs> well, I'm not it's kidding. Sunday, we gotta make a trip to Menards for cereal. Yeah, they get Raisin Bran. Raisin Bran's good, guys. Yeah, it is, and it freaking... I'll tell you what, If I, I always like go for a second bowl, and then all day long, it's just a train wreck. Why? <laughs> just because, I just... Well, this game, dude, this game's getting dramatically harder. If you made it through the 90s and didn't have at least one bowl cut and one pair of Jinkos, you didn't live. <laughs> Jinkos. I still have my Jinkos. Do you really? That is awesome. They just recently went out of business. They did. Just they recently? Had a reissue. Yep. You could buy the new ones. You could get 40, 48 inch pipes. Ooh, nice! Like buy one, get one free or something. Yep. Is that, can you still? Because we might want to bring them back. I, don't, I bought four pairs of them. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. Are you warm yeah. in here to work? Oh, yeah. Yeah? We need to bring back Jinkos on the channel. <laughs> we can. Yes. Yeah, no, I, I remember I only had two pair, but I had one that had like skunk stripes down the side. They I, were black, I, and there was a skunk with like a green fart coming out of his sphincter. And, uh, and they all had a special patch. Yes, a special yeah, character patch. yeah. And then I had these ones just called smokestacks, and they were like a lighter denim. And man, I felt cool when I would wear those in my airwalks. I felt like a badass. I have never had a pair. Yeah, because you weren't even alive yet when they were cool. <laughs> So, we wore them in college. You were still That's freaking, uh, that was still an idea. You were still having your little milky milk warmed up for you in the microwave. Well, I still do that. <laughs> How was they sleep at night? How's the old project coming along over Great. there? Great, I made a color change. All right. Wow. I just don't get how you can tie colors together. You tie a knot? See, well, and you have that big poker. All you have to have is a poker. Well, and some yarn. <laughs> right? I play, needle. I play needle poker about once a month. Poker. Those are straight up excite bike tires. I don't care what anybody says. I can hear the. <laughs> oh, right into the cacti. This sh this is hard as hell. I think every time you die, you lose uh, your gems or whatever. Your credibility. Yeah, your credit. Yeah. You and your soul. Credit. You lose your street cred. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so you're like, yeah, you got through the level, but you can't hang with those anymore. Yeah, how do you like that? He just ripped his pot. <laughs> it's so weird. It's a volcano, but you can just seal it shut right oh. with some yarn. What in the world? Oh yeah, I'm snake in the drain. <laughs> Rotor rooter. This is that bizarre. was awesome. Oh no, I'm going the other way. How, how do you get up there? Oh, where are you gonna be now? Oh yeah, what? Uh, we're, we're literally we are rotor rooter right now. So we're like what? Fire engines? I think so. You're trying to put out the lava. <laughs> this is out of control. <laughs> Had, had we been a little more prepared, like the next episode you're on, if you want to, if we actually can get you to come back, which that's questionable, because after this you're probably like, uh, okay, never deuces, again, never again. But I think it might be mandatory that we all wear Jankos in that episode. What do you guys think? I'm totally. I'm ready. Yeah, Robert, you're on your own. You're gonna have to find a pair. I might have some that fit you. <laughs> okay, I'll gladly wear it. Jen, what did you? Uh, create there while we were playing and you even stopped and played a level too so that's pretty <laughs> incredible a little ode to kirby wow that's a little purse nice that's amazing. a little handbag it, it's a functional bag that's, that's a little, little pouch pocket. i that's like it incredible with the yarn the look the whole look of that game yeah which is pretty cool i mean they really did make it look like yarn so i tried my best yeah i think it looks fantastic yeah. better, that than, is awesome. better than what i could do the beer what you guys think peace tree brewery Knoxville, Iowa. It's a local beer. This is the Orange Goza. When I first went into this episode, I didn't know the difference between a sour and a Goza. So I've kind of learned that they're different tastes and they're yeah. different. They're made differently. And this is like not very experienced in the Goza scene or I don't even the art form. Or yeah. I don't know how to describe it, but it's really enjoyable. I, I'm I'm really enjoying this. Yeah, I think it's a, a fairly good beer. I'm gonna take a page out of Robert's book here and say I can picture drinking this beer on a summer day. Oh my god! Um, really, the whole thing with Robert is he just likes drinking during the day. It doesn't matter if it's summer or not. But I think <laughs> that this is a it's a decent beer. It's a unique 
um, effort by Peace Tree, uh, maybe going into a realm that is maybe a little out of their comfort zone. So they are really good in more of like an IPA, traditional brew type stuff. That's kind of their specialty. I do think they could do better. I think they, they could do better in this realm, and I hope they keep exploring this because this is definitely more of an obtuse or out of bounds style for them. Uh, but it's good, it's enjoyable, and I want them to keep it coming because I think uh, with this under their belt, hopefully they can build on this and uh, maybe try out some different gozas, maybe some sours, something Ooh, like that. Sweet. Moving forward, have you ever really had any sour beers? I haven't really. Um, agreeing with you though on the summer aspect. Yeah. Yes. Like I'm gonna be in the backyard playing horseshoes. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Horseshoes. It's, so it's kind of weird because we're in the heart of winter here in Iowa. Um, but I am getting that orange note. Uh, it's very uh, tart. sour, tart, tart. A very, uh, very salty component, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, coming through there. But nonetheless, quality ingredients, as always, out of Peace Tree. Uh, I, I think it's definitely worth a try for sure. Um, but yeah, it was uh, a lot of fun. I hope you guys had fun. I had fun. I think it's a very unique episode. And it uh, was a lot, uh, I don't know, when Hogan brought it up, I was like, yeah, let's try this and see what happens. But I felt like it just worked. It just, yes, yeah, it just came well. together like it, like yeah. we knitting. Any final thoughts before we wrap things up? Well, I want to say thank you, Jim. We yes, really appreciate you, so you joining. Thanks for having me. Yeah, so it was a lot of fun, and hopefully, uh, I don't know, I'm just going to throw it out there, maybe a little Yoshi's Woolly World in the future, Ooh, for sure. if you're down. So, extra. Yeah, absolutely. We always appreciate you tuning in and subscribing to the channel. Keep gaming, keep drinking. We'll see you next time, right here on Gaming Off the Grid. What are we drinking today? They are drinking Orange Goose. I just had to say it because I wanted it to be a blooper. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, pour yourself a beer if you care to, and let's get crazy with Kirby. Kirby's <laughs> Epic Yarn! What was that word that you said? Kirby? I don't know. Kirby. Alright, what are we drinking today? They're drinking Peace Trees Orange Goza. It's an orange goza. Oh, you know the drill, make sure you hit that. <laughs> Did I throw you off? I said, no, I just said, alright, alright, alright. Like, I'm like, <laughs> No, you're like, like, that's right. my pole string. Alright, alright, alright. Alright. You're Matthew McConaughey, dude.